this, this, <laughs> and of course, these. I think they should do the trick. So I have these two gorgeous mounts. All the dendrobiums that were sawed off the community mount of the Aphilum. I have had a few days to assess my mounts that I have carved out of big pieces of cork and see which ones would fit best for the two orchids. Now, the thing is, I already kind of planned these pieces for the orchids that we're going to mount today, which is the Saraula and the Ceratolabium. But the question is, having something in your mind and then thinking what's going to happen and whether that will fit. Let me tell you, I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> because the one on the left was designated for the Saraula to go into the crack right here. You see that little canyon thing there? And to fit the piece that was sawed off onto that canyon, something like that, making it look like one piece, even maybe using the flat side. So you see my thought process here. Okay, that worked out perfectly. I love it. And the Ceratolabium with its flatter base, like there, you see that? I didn't cut that flat. That was on the cork, the original piece, flat like that. And well, what do you know? <laughs> Methinks that's going to work a treat as well. They may look a little bit slanted to begin with, that is normal, but as soon as they start to realize their new direction of light, eventually the new canes, the new growths will correct themselves. But I think that works beautifully. So what I did before all of this, let me get rid of all these impediments that I can at the moment do without. What I did here, is soak these mounts, because they are in actual fact mounts, even though they're teeny tiny, soak these in a new product, not new to me, but I've never used it before. I've had it for many, many years. It's called Back to Fill. And I'm gonna do a video about Back to Fill. I cannot do a review because again, it's the first time I'm using it, but it is super interesting all the ingredients. I'll just do a video about it and then we can also follow the progress of the orchids because of course having done an intervention like this we've probably removed about maybe let me think maybe 60-70% of the root system that was on the other mount. So the Bactophil supposedly has all the good stuff in it that would make roots grow more intensely, faster, etc. And also it's a preventative for Fusarium. So, an intervention like this is pretty, pretty radical for any orchid. Taking a saw after a root system, well, you know, anything that is a preventative for Fusarium, I have soaked the orchids in it. My concentration is 60 parts per million. My pH is about 6.8, 6.9. It's a little bit on the higher side because of the organic material that is somewhat old. If it were getting too acidic, I wanted my pH a little bit higher. They have been soaking here for approximately an hour. Not because the instructions said so. This is for normal watering of orchids or any other house plants, but because I didn't get around to filming soon enough. <laughs> That's the only reason. So what I'm going to do first though, so that I'm not fiddling with orchids on a mount, etc. I'm going to put the tags on the respective mounts. Get that out of the way. This is our Saraula mount right here. And we'll get the tag threaded onto the hanger, something like that. My hole was too tiny on the original tag, so I had to use my punch and make a bigger hole. I think that'll work. Get the Ceratolabium tag on as well. See how that works out. Okay, mounts are ready. So I'm going to try and do it from this angle, but what I have in mind, it's gonna be pretty simple. The execution should be simple. Now I've never been so bold with my recent mounting projects to say that because hmm, a lot of thought goes behind what I do before I do it. And the theory is always good. The execution made me a little bit, you know, may convince me otherwise. <laughs> 
The idea being to tie the orchid on with one of the handy dandy Velcro ties and then to use wire. I don't want to use fishing line because that wire has to go on tight. Everything here has its own weight already. So I wonder if this is going to work just to hold her in place while I mess with the wire, you know? Not for any other reason. And I'm going to have to change the angle because, yeah, this is not going to work for me and I really need to be focused on the right angle being close enough to the mount. Okay, so am I happy with the position of where the orchid is located? Will that work? I think it's gonna work just fine. Let's see if we can maintain that. Make sure we get everything out of the way and let's start with the back. I use the head for the wire that's going to be the hanger. I use that just as a, an aid if I need to raise the orchid, I can kind of let go and she's still upright. So I want to have a nice long piece at the back. I wanted to avoid winding and winding, but to use single pieces depends if she holds. There's a little bit of piece right here that I don't want to slip on me. So I'm going to press the wire already into the place where I want it to fit snug, like there. Keep the back. And if I can just do two, that would be amazing. So this is my second secure, just to have her settled there. If I can get one more wire around, maybe up here. and through there. That would mean she is secured to the mount. Use the shape of the mount to also push the wire in further. And you can see now that my Velcro is loose, so the wire is holding very nicely. That single bit, that's good. That's awesome. I'm gonna need this again. I'm gonna cut a little bit of a slice of a wedge in here so I can put the wire into that wedge. Okay, I've got to be careful. I haven't tightened the wire in the back, so I don't want the orchid to slip. This is exactly the same wire I used back in the day when I tied the three orchids to the original cork. And eventually I could just cut it off. It's going to be years before I can do it with this orchid, but that's the plan anyway. Where are you going? She wants to nestle down there, so I'm going to let her nestle. This is really important right now to get this right, because if I can only do two wires, perfect. At least the aesthetics will be somewhat still intact as well. I like this little crevice down here, so we're going to use that get in there and let's see the other side it's just plain flat do not dislodge on me we were doing so well and now we're just going to tighten the wires as much as we can I'm gonna leave this on just for now to see if I have that part tight enough. Because once we tighten this, everything may dislodge itself even more. So the dynamic is still active. Let's just say there could be movement the moment I start to tighten the top. Just checking, because this one's a bit off the mount. Just checking to make sure that it's not loose. I don't want to get too tight, because I don't want my wire to break. Result! Result! That's all we need to do. Woohoo! Yep, that's going to work for me. And I hope that's going to work for the orchid as well. Did I say hello? 
Did I say welcome? Oh my goodness. Did I say thank you for being here? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. So anxious to get this done because I don't want them to be lying around for any length of time. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope that you are enjoying this video, watching me fiddle and fuss. And if you are, would you mind giving the video a like? Because that would be greatly appreciated. And also, subscribe if you haven't already done so, because, hey, developments, developments, a new product and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for subscribing, for supporting the channel, for being here, taking time to watch, and also for keeping your fingers crossed for the orchids. <laughs> I know, am I asking too much? <laughs> okay, you're in place, and yes, you guessed it. We're going to start with this lower part, because as with the first one, if that already holds this piece in place, I can remove the Velcro tie and put my wire through here because that's where I wanted it initially. Okay, we need more wire. Okay, let's get you snug. Like, like a wrapping present, snug. Do we have any crevices that we can take advantage of? Yes, we have. Look at that down there. We are going to take advantage of this. Unless it comes off, but at least we'll go underneath it. And we're going to take advantage of the hollow there as well. Push the wire in. And you can see how hollow it is in here. So we'll be watching some roots eventually find their way in and around there. But for now, all I'm doing is securing the wire in the back. But I'm trying to watch the length of the canes against the hedge as well, because I, I don't really want to break them. <laughs> she's, she's a branching orchid. She comes from a cane and starts another branch as well. And yeah, I'd like to keep those intact. All right, let's take off the Velcro tie and see where we're at. I like what I'm seeing. That's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Okay, let's see if I can speak more fluently, you know, multitasking and all that fun stuff as I tie this wire. <laughs> That's a nice place to grasp the wire at, right there. I love it. And then same thing, we're just gonna tighten everything nice and snug. What do you think? What do you think, huh? It looks like she was always on this mount. Sort of, kind of like, <laughs> but you know what I mean? See that? Solid. Fantastic. Now we're going to hang her up and we'll have a quick look, see what's going on. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> They're kind of facing in the opposite direction of where they should be. So I'm just going to water them down a little bit because again, new product, not familiar with it. They've had a good soak. So this is a flush give a film something as well. Reunited and it feels so good. Well, at least they're independently reunited. Now, the whole purpose of this was not only to give them their own mount, let everybody develop independently the way they should. It was also so that my Saraula can get blooms that are not compromised because of watermarks, because those blooms are so sensitive that they do get compromised. So I'm gonna have to maybe move that orchid away because when I water my keikis up there on the monster mount as I'm doing now, water still spills onto the blooms. But that's fine, I can now move her when the time comes. For now, I am not moving her. I want her to feel like, well, she's back where she's always been, east facing, morning light, etc., etc., bright perma shade. Her location is exactly where she was before, with the exception she's got her own mount now. And then eventually I may move her to be next to the Victoria Regina. We shall see. 
But for now, thank you so, so much for watching. Oh, I appreciate your time so much. If you have any questions, any suggestions, if you think I could have done a better job, please leave all that in the comments. In the meantime, I'm going to wish you a fabulous day on that one condition, though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.